So let's just chat for a little bit first. Um, starting off with just gratitude, just feeling so blessed, grateful, um, especially because the weather's supposed to warm up. I don't want to jinx myself by saying that, and then they're like, oh, we heard, oh, we're going to give you some ice, we need some more ice storms. Um, no, just kidding. So we're having our morning coffee and cannabis, and we're going to do the weekly reading for all the twins out there, twin souls, twin flame, whatever you want to call it. The one that, uh, yeah, the one. <laughs> so let's just tune into the masculine and feminine and see what's going on here. I'm just going to take a couple sips of coffee, a couple breaths, tune in. Getting on mission, of course, is always big. Okay. Um, Figuring out what that is, get it working with your body, getting to balance. Um, this is the main objective, number one priority. This is what we should be focusing on is purifying the body, cleansing the body. Um, alchemy is important because it gives you, it helps you to achieve more balance. When you're more balanced in your physical body, your emotions, it's all interdependent. So we're going to see how our emotions will be more clear. Our thoughts will be clearer. Our actions will be more in sync with our thoughts and emotions that are clearer. Um, I feel like that's more for the, for the feminine. The masculine too, but I think what, and, and what I'm going to say for the masculine applies to the feminine too, but um, just to what degree. So feminine, bring more joy into your life, okay? Um, especially through the body, I'm feeling like if we felt more powerful, stronger, more warrior goddess in our body, we would feel more confident, happier, all these things. Okay, so this is why the it's not about vanity. Um, because you should, you know, not be concerned about looks, but I mean, excuse me, to a certain extent, you know, where we take pride of taking care of ourselves, okay? But taking pride in that, um, as long as it's balanced. So, and we can get out of balance with that. We could be too into our body and not giving our body enough attention. So it's all about balance, okay? And, um how this trinity within entity, this inter interdependence of the mind, body, and spirit, of the, the thoughts, the emotions, the actions, okay, whatever trinity, the blossoming, the fruiting, the seeding, okay, so each step is vital. We have to remember that, and we have to be focused on these this trinity everywhere we go. It's not that we need to have a... We just need to be more conscious of our interactions with nature, with ourselves, with others. Um, so as the masculine is becoming more aware of that, aware of himself, aware of, him, okay, what, and both, okay, it's mirroring. But with the feminine, she's going more into the body, okay, clearing, healing, balancing, meditation, retreats, whatever, however, okay sauna and massage okay that's my style um i love to sweat i love the sauna um yeah i was just thinking about oh it's 
just, yeah. Oh, life is beautiful. So with the masculine, he's going to be shedding people, places, things, habits, toxic relationships, toxic habits, triggers, triggered responses. Okay, all of this stuff's being cleared out. Whereas the feminine, um, I think we've done a lot of emotional work, a lot of mental work, but really focusing on the body, building that to that balance of, okay, really calling in the elements of the earth. Um, thank you, angels, for reminding me, because this is what I was thinking about that made me think that it's so important, the body, and it's not what, and it's whatever works for everybody, but, you know, it's all individuated, um, there's lots of people who could like yoga, but they, you know, like to do different styles or whatever. Okay, so, <clears throat> excuse me, the breath is so important. You can elevate your heart rate, slow it down, just all with the breath alone. You can metabol you can increase your metabolism, burn calories, all just while meditating, breathing. Okay, so it's not what... I mean, you can go to a gym and kill yourself, do however you want to do it. Who am I? I'm not... We're not judging. It's all an individual, unique path and process and purpose and life plan and destiny and all that. So, but we forget about, or I can say we can tend to forget about because the world can be so chattery, right? And be reflected in our own mind that we forget that what we have right here with our body. Okay, we could just get down on the floor and do sit-ups and push-ups and do breath work, and but we don't have to go spend money on it. We don't have to, oh, I don't have time to go to the gym. You have time to drop down and give me 20, though. <laughs> so we have to be kind of more childlike, more disciplined. And the thing about being more childlike, too, is remember how we had this, like, respect of authority. We listened to someone who was, I mean, unless you're like me, you didn't listen to anybody. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Just the trees and the animals and stuff. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> but pretty much, like a lot of us, we were like the parent in our family, and, and maybe even still so today, you know. Um, and embracing that more instead of, you know, labeling people as codependent. Not, we're transcending all this polarity. Narcissist, codependent. It's the same energy, push or pull, being polarized, being, okay from our oppositional conditioning. So transcending labels, duality. Um, we're just focusing on the Trinity, our thoughts, our emotions, our actions, our thoughts, emotions, and actions, okay? Now, when we get caught up in ego, we can get ourselves into trouble and we want to blame others for not respecting our boundaries, but really, did we have boundaries in place for people to respect. Were we respecting our own boundaries? Did we even have any? <laughs> it really is a, a lot of the time is the case. And then we get caught up in a situation and we realize, oh, we felt like someone disrespected our boundaries, but really we didn't even set any boundaries in the first place. We just assume. And, and if we're doing things out of ego, we're going to get that Anyway, that's going to happen because we didn't have a pure intention in the first place. It was coming from some kind of place of lack, okay, not balance centered in the heart. So we have to take accountability and re realize, you know, p things aren't being done to us. Everything's a lesson. We wrote all of this. So what what is this situation trying to tell me? And it's not easy. It's a, this is why breath work, like, whoo, breathe, count to ten, breathe. Like, some people really make you want to breathe and count to ten. I mean, you know what I'm saying? So. That's why we fly solo over here always, will always be only with God and my angels, my team, um, so, not that, I, I mean, I have tribe, soul family, who I love, but when it comes to me and my work and my mission and my purpose, and my, that's mine. <laughs> Nobody else gets to encroach. And, not even my twin flame. Not even my twin, twin, twin. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, even there, with your twin flame, you have to have boundaries. And, okay, it's like, oh, we're so one. Yeah, but 
self-discipline, okay? And so everything's a reflection. So we have to be self-disciplined and therefore we're going to expect that from others. So if we're not being self-disciplined, guess what? We're going to attract that energy into our life because that's what we're aligning with. Just being kind of slop happy all over the place, okay? Not really having a focus. God first, then self. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to turn the light on here. Um, how long did I blab on for? Okay, we're just going to do kind of a short reading anyway, about 20 minutes. So I usually, uh, well, I wouldn't say usually, but um, I just did one last week and I think the week before. So, so you know, we're caught up. I think the energies are, we'll see that there's a uh, full moon coming up. Like in a week though, so, but, um, maybe, maybe we'll do, I think, is it, a, is it a full or a, well, we'll check it out and we'll see how we feel and see what comes up. If, if I feel guided, the energies are calling me to do a reading, then I will, but let's check in with you twin flamers. Let's get it as started. Oh yeah, that last reading. Woo! The fountain. That ma oh, the masculine. Let's see how y'all are doing this week. I think you're... Ugh. From what I see from my divine masculine, you guys are... You have come a long way. You've learned a lot. You've grown a lot. Um, it's been beautiful watching... You guys blossom and unfold, brothers out here, even ones who are okay, whether they're Christian, New Age, Twin Flame, it doesn't matter. Um, I watch your videos and I see your growth and it's beautiful and Divine Feminine too and um, just Divine, Divine Feminine, the body, okay, it within. Now, masculine, yes, the body also, but without, okay. The environment, the people around you, the things around you, your home, your, okay? For the feminine, same kind of energy, but we're bringing it within, okay? Hermit energy. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Um, that doesn't mean you have to go, you know, sit in a dark room, go to a retreat in the desert, whatever, you know, go on a hike, whatever. Let's see if we get Hermit for the Feminine and Tower card for the Masculine. Um, I was coming up for the Masculine. Also Strength card. Okay, so it was coming up for Masculines a lot lately, um, just in private reading. So, all right. <sighs> My own personal readings. Um, but I was doing what I meant by private. Okay, now I'm like, which way do these go here? <laughs> so, open right back up to the sun again. Ace of Wands, sun card. Now I'm getting the ashes all over now. Okay. 
Two of Wands crowning. Okay. Okay, y'all. Let me get the candle in there. Okay. <laughs> All right, so two of wands crowning already. Looking good. Those two wings, two lungs working together to form a function. To create, to, to form a, to, uh, yeah. <laughs> Two, three, four. Or the earth. Oh, boom! Called it. Ding donged it. <laughs> That's at the center heart for both twins. Ah, uh, yeah. What was I saying? It's right at the heart of the center of it. One push, one pull. One's going within, one's going. Hello. Okay, let me. got my shopping bags in the shot. Oh, well, but I want to... Here, let me move this. Get the cards in here. Two of Wands, Hermit. Ha <laughs> ha! Twin Flames. Told you. <laughs> See, I don't even need the cards. We can just sit here and shit shoot around, but I don't like to just post things and be like... Oh, this is just a channel message. Oh, this is what I've been getting. Oh, this is what I've been tuning into. Oh, that's it. How? Pull a random scripture. Throw some car. Give us some proof. Did you have a dream? Oh, well, I had a vision. I mean, yeah. And then even if you had a dream, I mean, were you watching a bunch of dreams before you had the dream? <laughs> a bunch of other people's dreams on YouTube? I'm just saying, people. Be discerning out here, okay? What's on the bottom? Oh! <laughs> Judgment card. So I'm getting discernment from, because I just said that. Boom. Archangel Gabriel, hello. Two of Wands, Hermit, Judgment. Mm-hmm. So we do four on these, four, four. Three of Wands, okay. Masculine side. Good stuff. Knight of Wands. So good fire here. Going deep within to tune into your inner fire. Okay, Gabriel with the judgment card. Death, rebirth, coming out of that cave. Hermit, okay, with the womb, coming out of the womb. Three of Wands. Oh. You're right on the edge of your own horizon. <laughs> what? And the divine feminine. See, this is what I'm saying. Like, masculine is looking forward to what's coming in. And so he's got to clear stuff, okay, what he's seen coming in in his visual 3D reality environment. But for the feminine and her visual 3D reality, she sees good health and balance and well and getting ready for that next step. So, um... So, Knight of Wands, I mean, that's lots of fiery action and moving around, okay? Move your body. When I get up in the morning, I shake vigorously. It's a, um, I forget what system it gets flowing around, but just shaking your arms and legs, shaking your, do a booty dance like, now I'm shaking the whole damn kitchen. <laughs> okay, just sitting in the chair, just shake, and that, I mean, you get, you, it, it literally, is like better than a cup of coffee anyway so let's continue with the reading <laughs> that nine of wands want to stick in my hand just as a reminder king of cups on the side of the divine masculine you really see the best version of yourself coming in sun card hello that showed up right in the beginning so I'm telling, saying the Leo, okay, strength, sun card's coming up a lot. Um, they have the three of wands, so they're really, the masculine's really feeling positive. Oh my god, they got the fountain again. This, in their individual energy, sorry, I didn't mean to yell if that was loud. 
Oh my goodness. That's, I'm saying the masculine. You're like helping out the feminine right now. So and holding that like when she's like. I don't know if he's progressing. And then boom you reflect that shit. And then she goes oh my god yay I'm going to get all. I'm sorry. Fine as fuck. Okay I, I'm just saying what's coming in. Okay. I just want her to be like, oh, God, you're so hot. You're, okay. <laughs> hey, it's got, it, the angels said we can. <laughs> the angels hooked this up. The angels, we wrote this shit. I, there's no shame. There's no pride either. There's nothing anymore. There's just inside, outside. In the center. There's only the trinity. There's nothing else. Everything's stripped away. The bones. Oh my gosh. I know they have like the... <gasps> oh wow. The fountain. And also I'm getting like... See that sun card in the fountain? King of Cups. Three of Wands. He's, he's got like... <gasps> Three blue balls. <laughs> Three blue balls for you baby. Divine Feminine. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> just what's coming in because that is like so much and then she's that's what I'm saying like she's just like yeah knight of wands divine feminine oh my god because you're both going deep within like what do I need to do to and you know this is it's not like oh oh union is my motivation no but your twin and this love and all this reflection is okay so Seven of Wands, one and two. I don't know if I just shuffled, but I was talking, so I need to do it again. Oh, Two of Swords. Okay, that's coming back in a little bit. I was seeing that creeping in a little bit. So there's a Two of Swords. Wheel of Fortune next, a Magician. So what do you move forward and manifest what you want, Divine Feminine? You have that Knight of Wands that's connected to the twin flame energy that's really motivating you and giving you a lot of energy to do this and I'm feeling it too eight of cups move forward okay emotionally moving flowing okay your body knight of wands flowing fiery um you have the two of swords so you just need to decide how you're going to do that okay what is it you need to do are you good with the exercise and you're all ripped as shit but you want um <laughs> But maybe you just want to, you know, make sure you don't got the morgues or something. So you do some fasting and cleansing and just parasite cleanse, you know, cleanse the toxins out. Just walking around breathing the air. Okay. <laughs> so. <clears throat> so you have to decide internally, go internally, because this is how we truly connect with our twin flame anyway. And then you can use that mirroring energy okay to motivate you don't don't rely on an outside okay this is going deep within the hermit for both twins okay and and it's connected to the fire two of wands three of wands knight of wands we got judgment okay so going deep within for both masculine and feminine masculine and feminine go deep within and the masculine's gonna tap into his bliss and really follow his bliss and not let anything hold him back. And the feminine, let's see. Keep seeing that magician. Okay, you have the three of cups. So there's a trinity again. So there's the three of fire trinity, the masculine, which we all have within, okay? Everything's a trinity, even in duality. The feminine's a trinity, the masculine's a trinity, the triangle. That's why the star of David. Okay, so here's the three of feminine, and then he has the three of wands, three of masculine, which is connected to this twin flame, okay? But her three, her trinity is kind of her own right now. That's why I'm saying, because it's more within. The fire more within three of cups um kind of almost like some detachment because his is attached hers isn't but it's a push pull of the same energy remember so because 
maybe the feminine needs to withdraw a little bit. And I was getting that with clients reading too, the isolation, a little bit of withdrawing, retreating, detaching, letting go, surrendering that. Doesn't mean you're like never going to talk to your twin. No, you. what you're doing is you're connecting with them energetically on a more spiritual level when you're doing this. You're not checking the Facebook. You're not doing the, like get off, like, I'm not telling people what to do, but I just, all that Facebook and it's not healthy. Um, it's just, it just makes it too easy to obsess and get out of balance. So, um, unless you're someone who's really focused and on mission and you can do that and you're in union with your twin, you're working together. So you're not having distractions or something, but, um, Feminine, with the Three of Cups and Eight of Cups and Two of Swords, you need to decide that you're already in union. So now what? Work on your body. Learn how to detach emotionally. Celebrate spiritually. Celebrate your trinity. Your trinity within a T. This is the Three of Cups. That's all you. Okay. So, two of swords, okay, let's see what we have here, really tapping into source because you're in just that feminine water flow element but see she has the two swords that are pointed up to the sky like she's anchoring okay like the cow goddess the horns the two anything to the two sides of the cross okay the left and right so anchoring that down into the divine feminine so really talking to your higher self connecting with source god created a great spirit the divine cosmic womb the earth Okay, and and by connecting more to all, you connect to your twin flame more, and you'll see, you'll get more dreams, more the, and then these things are more magical than anything you could have in the three D. Then the three D is almost kind of a letdown. Like, oh yeah, he's kind of in the three D. You know, he's calmed down a little bit or whatever. <laughs> I don't know, just. But in dreamscape, they're just in dream time, uh, the waking dream, the sleeping dream. <laughs> um the sleeping dream when, when your body's not moving, <laughs> when you're just laying in your bed. Okay, so you're going to be even more connect, connected when you let go and disconnect. It, you see what I'm saying? Because what we're really disconnecting from is the ego. That way we can connect with spirit more. And when we do that, we connect with our twin flame more. We connect, and it's not about connecting with the twin flame more. It's about when we do this thing of connection, it connects us to all all our past lives, all our uh, everything. So this walking away, you need to decide to walk away and let go and make that tough decision to just focus on God, put God first. Okay, your journey has to come first. And know that we're all connected, even in the physical realm. Okay, just because someone you can't see them in your line of sight you know, if you raised up high enough in the sky and you had laser vision, you could see them. And all you'd have to do is go bloop right above your house and, you know. <laughs> We're going to be able to. Don't worry. It's, see, this is why it's like back in the day we could just fly boom, boom, boom here on dragons and, you know, can go here and there so fast and, and just dematerialize, rematerialize. So we... We never had this thing about like separation. I mean, really all that is is original separation from source. So if you reconnect with that self and source, okay, it's really going to help you detach, let go, walk away and and really tune into that trinity, feminine trinity that you are, that downward facing triangle. Okay. Are there three hands here? Yeah, three hands. Okay, like the triple goddess. Blossom, fruit, and seed. Focus on your cycles. Focus on your body. Focus on 
how it's all intertwined with the earth and with God, the elements, all the animals. It's a downward facing triangle. So she's wearing like a, you know, black panties or whatever, <laughs> or it just shadowed or however they did it. But okay, that's, that's her downward facing triangle. And he's the piercing fountain. <laughs> See, this is the cosmic womb. Okay. This is what we're tuning in to now. The cosmic womb, the sun, um, Oh, shit. What did I say? Tower cards on the bottom. I told you Tower and Hermit were coming in. So, Tower overall energy, because it's on the bottom. And Hermit also over ener all overall energy for both twins, because it's at the center core heart of it all. Oh, did Mama call it? I'm just saying. There's no I. There's only the E-Y-E. -E, pretty young thing. E-Y-E. -E. <laughs> what do we have? Oh, we have Temperance up the top. Another. That's the other... Um, Archangel Gabriel, okay, besides the moon card has an association because of the sacral chakra. So here's temperance at the top. We got temperance on the top, tower at the oh wow. Look at that. Okay. Like I was just saying the cross too. Temperance. Tower baby. Oh shit. <laughs> oh wait, is that upside down? What did I do? Oh yeah, it goes like this. Okay, that one I had turned back around. Yeah, temperance is <laughs> right after temperance is ten of wands, nine of swords, oh. and then page of wands and queen of wands and two of coins. Like this rebirth and then chariot and then into balance and like self-mastery. Four of Wands, Six of Cups. Uh, so, Tower. Tower on the bottom. Temperance on top. TTs. Uh-oh. The Divine Masculine. Been thinking about the Divine Feminine. And her TTs. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm saying it could be man, woman, woman, man. I mean, men have TTs too. I don't know. Some people are into nipples. What can I say? I don't know. I mean. So. <laughs> well, all parts of the body are beautiful. So, wow. Temperance and tower. And then judgment. So Mars energy. Ram, Mars, Aries. Um, <clears throat> also Mars' original ruler of Scorpio. We have Hermit that represents Virgo. We have the Sun which represents Leo because the Sun rules Leo. But um, signs aren't really important here but Temperance Sagittarius. So there's just a lot of good uh, fire. Um, wow. Tower and Temperance. That's pretty good stuff I must say. Two of Wands. What time are we at? Okay, we're going to wrap it up here. That's the twin flame crowning it. Okay, you both are getting information. We're going deep within to know how to apply it. The masculine is going to more apply it to his, his external, but a little bit to his internal body and stuff like that too. Um, not that it won't flip and switch and then the masculine is going to work more on his body in the next cycle and then the feminine okay so it's just it's all about keeping the balance so the flow is um at maximum velocity <laughs> i like saying that so divine feminine knight of wands that's the body i really feel your your kinetic energy your um your internal burn okay your metabolism your ka and the Divine Masculine is really looking forward to all, all the changes in you, too. Really, that's a really positive card. Positive attitude, Three of Wands is like an I can do this attitude. I have hope. I have faith. I'm looking forward to the future. 
um, I'm fantasizing, imagining beautiful things, and I know it's going to be even more beautiful than that. That's the three of wands when you're surrendered because you're thinking about how beautiful it's going to be. Each and every day it gets more and more beautiful, not just, oh, how it's going to be when you're with your twin flame, but because we're already, remember, remember we're, we're all connected, okay? This, this is what separation is teaching us, too, that we're connected in spirit, and we are spirit first, okay? So this is transcending duality. So we transcend duality. We go to that apex. Oh, now it's the trinity. Now we're up here at the apex on the mountain looking down at duality from a higher perspective. That's the triangle. You could be on the earth and looking up at God, seeing the masculine and the feminine, the moon, the sun. So it just depends... Want to have the perspective of the earthlings, the humans, or of the gods? Okay, it's all beautiful, whichever way. If you're if you're on the earth, you're looking up at the heavens. If you're in the heavens, you're looking down at the beautiful earth. So, either way, the perspective is beautiful. So this is really the two in flames. Crowning the thoughts is really wanting to cooperate and work together. So they're both going deep within to figure out what they need to do and applying this fire. Okay. This, I, I really feel a lot of motivating fire coming in, okay? Judgment, so Archangel Gabriel is always here assisting the Twin Flames, of course. Masculine, King of Cups. See the circle and the triangle together. The Trinity. And then the O represents the Divine Cosmic Womb, okay? And the Trinity is what everybody has doesn't matter if you have a penis or a vagina we all have the trinity within the the two is feminine testes ovaries the singularity the vaginal canal or the pineal shaft masculine so we each have a singularity masculine singularity apex the point of the triangle and then we have the two the duality at the either whichever depending on which way it's facing masculine or feminine triangle then we have the two so we have the one two one when we come when we transcend duality and come back to one again now it's diamond yes so we transcend the trinity even and we come back into the oneness now it's two diamonds on top now because it's like an hourglass like that tower card then it comes together and it forms the star of david and it goes one more step and now it's the diamond that's the diamond crystallized consciousness See, even the Trinity has three phases. So everything is a fractal, third, three-thirds, a circle. <laughs> Everything's three-thirds and a circle. It, it's just... Okay, so... And this is very much representative. So this is... I'm really getting, like, the, the Divine Masculine is really coming into this sacred knowledge, this wisdom that is unlocked when... you're tapping into the Divine Mother and Divine Father, so... This is kind of like the moon, but it's even beyond that. It's the container that contains everything. The universe is all, okay? The darkness, the ma, from which everything comes. Every, it's the thing that's outside of everything that contains all. Everything is everything. That's this card. So I love... Just the colors and everything. So ethereal. This a lot of um, white, white fire, and that high vibe purple because, and then it goes to white because the white light. Once you reach violet, okay, the next step is white. When it's all unified, that's the unified rainbow. That's the rainbow bridge that's happening. This is what now it's like. <clears throat> We're really piercing our spirit through this purification, coming back into oneness again. We're piercing. Okay, we're bringing God down into form. We're piercing the earth, injecting her with, with the medicine, okay, from God. So those light codes, whatever you want to call them, prayers, however you do it, bringing, anchoring the unified rainbow, all the white light of the unified, unified rainbow, okay, and creating a unified field down here in duality. Instead of having it be duality, it's going to be a unified field. All these individual unique things, collective as one, through the elements. Everything that comes from Mother, the Divine Cosmic Womb. And then you have the Sun card, so it's like 
that's what I was getting with the King of Cups. Now the Divine Masculine is really feeling that love, okay? Really creating a lot of positive energy, positive thinking, love, um, thinking positively about the future. And, um, yeah, it's this is like the Waiting on God card, and I just saw like a little pretzel shape like, uh, see that? He wants to wrap you up like a pretzel, Divine Feminine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, I just got the webs of time. That just came into my mind. All that, the webs of time. So you're going deep within and shining your light. So it's like a, a re-retreat back inside of like... We did all the shadow work. It's like, oh, now we're going to go back in and get the hidden treasure. Okay, so we had to do all this cleaning out. Okay, now we go back in. We we can access our gifts, our tools. Our, okay, so now that when we go in, that's what we're doing. It's not like a lot of healing, shadow work, and all. And I mean, things... Because with the quickening, we want to be doing that in the moment, in the now. We don't want things to build up. We don't want to hold resentments. We don't... Okay, that that, that there's your energy leaks right there. <clears throat> So Divine Masculine, Three of Wands, King of Cups, beautiful, positive, fiery energy, but very loving and king. So mature, very much respecting, loving, honoring mother and father, okay, with the sun card and the fountain, okay, cosmic womb, the dark mother, and the light of God, okay, masculine and feminine. That's beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay, and here's the Holy Grail. And we're done with this reading. So the, there's the feminine, the cup, the golden cup, allowing him in. Okay, being open. Golden, unmoved. This doesn't, this golden chalice doesn't constrict. Okay. Stays open. Receiving God. So when we're open and receptive to God, we can be like this with everyone. We, but we know boundaries. You know, this doesn't mean being weak or anything like that. No, this is the strength that no matter what comes up, we can handle it. Judgment, transcend it. Let it make us stronger. Build skill building challenges. Yeah, are you up for the task? We're warriors. We're the golds and the goddesses. <laughs> Glory to the golds and goddesses. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> we'll leave that there. I don't want to go on too long now. Um, yeah, temperance. That's right. Temperance and tower. Ooh -ah. <laughs> All right, you guys. There's your weekly. And I think it's beautiful. And that hermit and tower card. Ah! called it all right love you guys let me find my arrow here hold on okay love peace and blessings